The striker Miwasa Kamara crashed the ball into the cross ball. His team was losing by one goal throughout the game. teammates heard about what the rival goalkeeper had done. The rival goalkeeper put at the bottom of both post a kind of amulet of witchcraft which had the function of preventing him from being scored. Masakamara puts his plan in action, a few minutes to finish the game. He take advantage of the neglect of the rival goalkeeper to remove the amulet, fury of its rivals and almost ending in a deadly battle. No. The position Masakamara incredibly scored the goal of the time. <laughs> team including the very good goalkeeper were, were coloured players um, but he thought that the witch doctor may be able to help us anyhow they had the, this meeting or rendezvous with the witch doctor who said that he would point the bones at the Rhodesian team and they had a meeting at the stadium and he was going to bury the bones under one of the goal and our objection was well how do we know which goal is which goal's going to be the Rhodesian goal anyhow his final resolve that he said well um, uh, the uh, Rhodesian the bones are going to be pointed at the red issue it doesn't matter which end. Anyhow, uh, from that he stated his fee, he, was, he spoke impeccable English and he said that his fee was 50 pounds sterling. Anyhow, the story was that uh, we won the game 3-1 and uh, so we got what we wanted. Uh, the witch doctor didn't get what, what he was after. And the last we saw of him was at the airport shaking his fist at uh, the Australian team that we, we robbed him and hadn't paid the money and that he put a curse on the Australian team from then on. And uh, believe it or not, but from that moment on, uh, we had to travel to Israel to play Israel for the right to go to Mexico. We had a hold up at every airport. We travelled for 36 hours from, from Lorenzo Marks Airport to arrive in Israel. We arrived there 22 hours before the game. We lost to Israel. We arrived back in Sydney. We had a big muck up in Sydney. We attacked for, for 80 minutes of a 90 minute match against Israel at the Sydney Sports Crown, drew 1-1 and Miss Allen going to Mexico by the odd goal. They ripped the concrete apart today at the new Yankee Stadium, and there it was, wedged in there. Yep, that's it. The infamous Red Sox jersey buried by a construction worker. They still can't grab it. So they kept digging, and then they got it. The cameras were flipping. It's a David Ortiz jersey meant to curse the new Yankee Stadium. Buried here by a diehard Red Sox fan with access. A construction worker hired to help build this place. The great pride of all of these workers working on this site, for somebody to, you know, try and tarnish it, I think, really doesn't say anything about anything but his lack of character. He lives right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the middle belt. The middle belt. See what Minigo knocked on his door? Yeah, let's go knock on his door. Let's do it. Come on. The worker's name is Gino Castagnoli, and we had some questions for him. This is the house of the Curse t shirt. Going to the belly of the beast. Yep. If he's home. If he's home. Why did your father do this? Because he's the greatest father alive. So you're happy he did this? Oh. Wow. 
The daughter is happy. 巴西世足即将进入准决赛了，而第一场就是由地主国巴西迎战德国坦克。不过近来巴西非常不顺，第一阵号内马尔因伤缺席，那么整体的攻击火力大大降低。现在还传出有许多当地的巫师开始说要做法来诅咒德国的球员。穿着时髦的巴西巫师把蜡烛一根根点着，运用传统黑魔法，巫师在媒体前爆话，巫毒娃娃要发威了。世界杯四强争霸赛，战火即将点燃，首战地主巴西对德国将是一场硬仗。不少巴西巫师纷纷跳出来，释放狠毒的诅咒，要让德国主将在球场上跑不起来。你们在德国可以在四强中夺冠，在四强中夺冠。足球是巴西国球，又是地主队，当地的巫师纷纷在场外开台，对德国球员施有巫术，又有诅咒。And very back, and the ball would land. But as we say in South Africa, the FC Platinum supporters were doing so. Imagine that. Have you ever? In your life, heard of such a story where they are yeah. punctured. That season, we talk about the Chibugu competition. Everybody was drunk, so that's why they were keeping popping the balls. Every time the ball was going, we need to understand. But besides that, you know, uh, the organizers should have, at this rate, should have taken that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 Explain the story. I had a testimony in 1992. Yeah. I was sponsored by Zambezi Lager, and uh, they sent a witch doctor with him, the Zambezi Lager. And he went around on the posts and put his little goat's tail, put all the water over the, the posts on both sides, and uh, got the microphone and he said, if you don't have the jungle man Bruce Grobler here, you won't win the league again. And of course I went back to South Africa, went to Canada, came back. And uh, remember when Stevie G, he slipped? Well, one night came, I went down to the pitch, and I went to the cop end, and I, I peed on the post. And then I got... Why does that, that breaks the spell or something? It breaks the spell. <laughs> and I got thrown out. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do the Anfield run. No way, we came second. Have you tried to do it or not? I've fulfilled my task because last season I played for Hotel Tia in a corporate game here. We were in the dressing room and the guy said, you've got to do the business. So I said, okay. I took a water bottle, poured the water out, went in the toilet, peed in the bottle, came back, first half in the cop end, splashed it over, over the posts. Second half came down there, splashed it over the posts. <laughs> <don't know> <laughs> Seriously, I'm serious. 有人质疑这只是球员在场上奔跑的倒影，但为何角度转弯都能如此精准，成了不解之谜。而南美洲球场的灵异传说已不是头一遭，全场轰声雷动，这一场委内瑞拉对上哥伦比亚的足球大战，眼看就快进门得分，守门员跑到前面挡球，后面怎么还有一个人？猛一看不是人，因为庞大的身躯只有上半身。维内拉民众不但不害怕，反而百感交集，因为他长得实在太像永远的伟人查维兹。仔细比较，从招牌的胜利手势、最爱穿的红夹克，还有身形、发型，都和常人总统查维兹本尊非常相似。巧合的是，竟然挡住了关键一球，救了维内拉。无论是不是已故总统显灵，都已经成功激励球员士气。安倍選手のホームランボールなんですけれども、ご覧いただきましょう。よく見てくださいねわかりましたでしょうかもう一度ここですねいきますよこの瞬間これは何が起きているのかちょっとね不思議な現象と言えますが小野さんどうですかご覧になってなんか動いてますよねそうですねあそこに何かあったんですかね何度見てもこうふいっとちょっと浮くようなねえー、変化しすぎてるような気がしますけどね
空中でもそうなるんですかね、土橋さんは。いやからないね、どうなってるんですか、誰もわからないですけどね、でもこの、ね、珍しい現象が起きたと、可能性にしては、そうですね、もう虫が当たったのか、カメラがちょっと揺れたのか、阿部選手によると、センターフライだと思ったんだが、思いのほかよく。女子垒球、锦標赛在日本千叶县举行。三号之上，纽西兰对上台湾的中华女子垒球队，维持一贯传统，在国际赛开打前跳传统战舞。不过就在他们跳完后，中华女将出招回敬，却引起对方误会。伸出右手往前方地板撒了一大把盐，之后拍拍手掉头离开。而这个动作让纽西兰的选手全都看傻眼，再度跳起战舞。口叫越大声，叫劲意味浓厚。受纽西兰队的同手还在脸书发文说：“真火大，请不要朝我们冤土。”而世界棒垒球联盟在赛后针对这场文化差异产生的误会，也给予两队警告。中华队女垒强调，在自己区域撒盐是祈求顺利的意思，对方跳战舞越过中线也违反大会规定，只有将遵守避免撒盐的规定。最后，中华队呢以七比四击败纽西兰。
其实可言说，像二零零九年就被打包上岸之后，翻身后多次与日本第一擦身而过。今年能否摆脱魔咒，虎迷期待又怕受伤害。